And alright bags, the show plays games, welcome back to another Ark Survival Evolve news video. Today we are going over the big issues, I can't believe I'm saying this, nearly what, six months after release of the game, something like five months after the full release of the game, you are not able to play Ark Survival Evolved on your Xbox without significant effort on your part because of the latest update. So an update hit on Friday for Xbox One. It was not meant to be the Ragnarok update. It's purely there to stabilize servers and improvements and bug fixes. The Ragnarok update won't be coming until next week at some point. But it appears that majority of you trying to get online on Xbox have had massive, massive problems over the weekend. So I'm sure you've realized that by now with the multiple efforts you've gone to to try and do it. Does it gonna get resolved? Well, who knows? It's going to obviously have to be another hot fix going through. Fingers crossed it'll be happening. There's still some confusion what's causing it. Is it actually Wildcard? Is it Microsoft and their problems with it going offline? We just don't know just yet. But let's go through all the tweets and try and work out exactly. I've just come back off holiday for a few days, so it's all brand news to me, other than a few little bits I've caught up on on Twitter. So according to Jen, one of her voodoo fixes was ensure both survival evolved and aberration patches are fully downloaded. There were two patches. If both are not downloaded, you won't be able to join your servers properly. Check if there are any updates to be done in the My Games and Apps section. Blah, 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 blah. This is most likely to cause issues where aberration has not been downloaded, creating a mismatch. Verifying your Xbox console is up to date in your settings and update it if needed. And hard reset your Xbox. Unplug the console for several minutes and reboot. If you've not solved by any of the above, reinstall the game. What other game? What other full game? I mean, early access I could just about live with, but a full game asks you to reinstall the fucking in game. Of all the things, this is tiresome, this is bullshit. I'm about to go full rant mode, but I'm keeping it cool, I'm keeping it cool, I'm keeping it chill. It would be funny if I knew that, that, that you lot weren't so upset on Xbox and all the PlayStation heads are just laughing their heads off at the moment probably because of the problems with Xbox. Um... We don't know. Fingers crossed it won't happen to you. The Xbox update is only a bug fix. It wasn't meant to include anything like the Ragnarok update. That is coming to the PS4 on Monday, supposedly. The Japan offices were closed. Jeremy tweeted and said that the Japan offices weren't uh, open to process the update. So if you're expecting Ragnarok on the PS4 on Xbox, it is coming at some point this week. PS4 should be there Monday, Tuesday. Xbox probably some point towards the end of the week. But this issue here, like, how many updates? How many times have you watched videos? I can count on four hands how many times I've told you guys that an update has broken the game even worse. So much so, I'm even contemplating doing one of them bullshitty top five videos showing you guys how many times Ark has broke itself. It really would be funny if it just didn't upset people so much because at the moment, as far as I know, the servers are still rolling. So if you need to get on to feed your dinosaurs, if you need to go and do stuff, if you're on a PvP server, there may be some instances where some people have actually got these fixes to work and they are just either raiding your ass or your dinos are starving to death. I know it's not a community team's fault, they're doing their best at the moment, Jat and Jen are replying quite a lot, or well, definitely Jat is at the moment that I'm seeing from Twitter all over the place. But for fuck's sake, how hard is it just to get an update right? How hard is it to get an update right for the servers rather than putting the wrong one out if that's the problem? So Jack is still trying to get to the bottom of it. He's still reaching out for people. So any information, go ahead and tweet at him right now. If you've got anything vital, anything that you think could help, absolutely go and do it. Any fixes that may need you able to get on your Xbox servers, go ahead and let him know. It's affecting all servers as well. It's not just affecting official servers. It is affected rentable servers as well. Amidst all of that Twitter shenanigans and multiple posts and replies, this is the actual patch little little thing they've put up right now. Hey guys, we're looking to report to Garden Game not launching. For some players on Xbox, I'd say the majority, let's face it, it's the majority chat. On Xbox since downloading the latest update, what's commonly reported is that when you attempt to launch the game, it pops up with an error message, following by asking you to download the latest 3GB update and then failing to do so. Launching the game, receiving the error message, accepting notification to download the update, failing to download the update, relaunching the game, error appears, relaunch the game, it appears to ask download the update. So 21 hours ago, looks like Wildcard were firmly intent on trying to blame it on Xbox Live. 
And as you can see, there are still some issues with Xbox Live at the moment, social and gaming that are problems. So maybe it is down to them. You know, we just don't know. But the fact that actually they're still asking for info and input only an hour ago suggests that it's not just Xbox Live's problem. It is, in fact, something Wildcard have done. I've been going back through my memory, which isn't the best, but I can distinctly remember a good handful of times updates have broken the game for multiple days on both platforms, not even just Xbox, but PS4 as well. Let me know in the comment section one of the funniest times or the worst times you couldn't get on Ark Survival Evolved. If it triggers a memory, I will put it in my top 10 bullshit that you read times Ark Survival Evolved has broken the game. I've really tried not being ragging on them lately, I've really tried not being negative Nelly, but fucking <laughs> hell, they make it hard for themselves when shit like this happens. It should not be happening. If things like this happen, there are occasions when networks are down. Destiny, Battlefield, Call of Duty, we've all experienced issues with either the PlayStation network being down, the Xbox Live network being down, the games aren't actually working, but they always usually have a hotfix within hours, within like even 24 hours. By the time these updates get updated, it'll probably be around three days before the issue is sorted. That is a hell of a stupid thing to be going through, just over some minor bug fixes. It's not like we're launching a huge patch, it's not going to be the TLC patch, it's not going to be Ragnarok. It's literally just a stabilised aberration with a few little fixes here and there. So I think it's outrageous personally. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. As ever, that is it from me. There's no good news to say, there's nothing better to do i'm going to tell you guys when the update's ready hopefully it will all be fixed and i'll let you guys know exactly when ragnarok's going to be live for xbox one and the ps4 and if you don't know what i'm talking about with ragnarok they are updating it with its final update or 99.9 percent .9 as jeremy the arc survival evolve creator said you can go and check out my actual Ragnarok final update desert tour video I did and get a real feel for what's coming and hopefully by the time you've maybe watched it in maybe in a day's time, who knows, we'll actually get the update land on the PS4 and the Xbox One. As ever, I'm Jay Plays Games. I'll see you ratbags later. Okay.